beautiful palace and gardens, incredible architectures, and home to a vibrant culture full of flamenco. Seville is one of the most popular city in Spain with amazing food scenes that is perfect for your next weekend escape. Hi, my name is Mia and I'm a full-time interior designer based in London. On this video, let me share with you seven ways you can enjoy your weekend in Seville that you don't want to miss. Let's jump in. First stop is where we had our first lunch. We went into a cute local restaurant called El Ricon de Kevin. This restaurant is located just off the main shopping street and had a really good selection of Spanish tapas. We ordered a local beer, then asked for specials of the day and got potato salad, cured ham, croquettes and lots of seafood. If you go to Spain, you must have octopus colpacho and ajijo. They are so fresh and so cheap. We ended up paying just about 20 euros for both of us, which is just unreal. Next stop is this beautiful wooden structure pavilion, Setas de Sevilla. Although you might not be an architecture enthusiast like me, I highly recommend visiting this pavilion. This is also known as the mushrooms, as the structure is made up of six large parasols in the shape of mushroom, and it is the largest wooden structure in the world. On top of the building, there is a viewpoint offering stunning panoramic view that you can enjoy both daytime and the nighttime. Next stop is definitely a must-visit beautiful palace, Royal Alcazar of Seville. This palace is definitely the number one attraction and should not be missed when you're in Seville. It is a thousand years old palace located in the heart of the city and I recommend to get a ticket before online, which is about 18 euros to avoid the queue. Inside the palace, you can enjoy walking between outdoor gardens and indoor architecture and it is very interesting to see that the palace is constructed from a blend of architectural styles. For example, the wall tiles contain many Moorish design, which is a style seen in Islamic culture with colorful pattern work. This courtyard is an incredible part of the palace and it literally looked like straight out of the movie. When you're visiting this palace, you definitely want to leave yourself some time to explore. Next up is the best place to have churros for breakfast, Bar El Comercio. By the way, I'm probably not pronouncing all this Spanish right, but hope there is no judgment here. I don't think this place is on any tour guide. We found it while we were wandering around and was just perfect local bar to start our day. Apparently, churros are the basic and most traditional Spanish breakfast, so we had to try it ourselves. They are usually dipped on thick hot chocolate and I also ordered a coffee and this was like 3 euros in total, can you imagine? They were made of fresh dough that was fried but didn't feel that fatty at all. Definitely try this chocolate churros for breakfast. Next stop is another beautiful architecture that you can't miss, Plaza de España. This is a beautiful semicircular brick building, Renaissance slash Neo Moorish in style, and it was actually built for an expo in 1929, so it's pretty recent architecture, but today the building has been renovated and adapted to be used as an office for government agencies. It is a very romantic place to visit. There is a little canal boat that you can get on and you can just spend a very pretty time here no matter who you are with. For taking photos, the balconies are the prime spot. You can go upstairs by staircase and this magnificent central balcony is especially impressive as you can get the whole sweep of the building. Next stop is Bar Las Telesas, where you can try amazing jamón iberico and vermouth. One of the food and drink you need to try when you're in Seville is jamón iberico, which is a type of cured ham, and vermouth, which is a sweet wine. We found this cute old school bar on our first day, full pack of people, and had to come back. Very authentic and traditional bar, 
full of locals during our visit, and the menu reflected the bar's appearance. I had no clue what vermouth was or that even existed until my friend recommended me, but it is very refreshing and served on an ice with an orange slice. This is very nice. This bar has a very cute atmosphere with authentic Spanish tapas that you can just stop by for a little snack or for your dinner. It is our final stop. You cannot leave Seville without watching flamenco. If you're looking for a romantic thing to do in Seville or things to do at night, put a flamenco performance on your itinerary. Seville is the origin of flamenco and you can actually enjoy a lot of performances on the street for free. We booked a performance at the 16th century courtyard house, Casa de la Memoria. This was very close to our hotel and we got a ticket for around 19 euros online. The show was about one hour long and I don't want to be the spoiler here, but honestly, it is an amazing experience where you get to feel the passion of the music and the dance and it is a must thing to do when you're in Seville. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the Seville weekend guide. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.